Is that Dave Swift? It's, not, it's, a, it's a short tour. Yeah. So let's do it. Okay. Let's right up the stairs. Don't, don't film my butt when I'm walking up the stairs. Hi, I'm Dave. We're in my office right here in Solana Beach. The skateboard mag. There's moments in skateboarding history that you can't repeat and like they just happen. And you know, for me, like growing up and like actually being in places like, you know, when Chris Miller slammed in the corner at Upland, like and just seeing that and like remembering the noise that it made when he his trucks locked and he just went yeah. into the ground. Like the whole comedy thing is kinda a little bit of that. For me, like it's just like that's what gets me excited. Like it's not about the competition necessarily, it's about just the moments that happen there. What you're looking at there is the standings from the uh, Spring Nationals, 1985. That was the like the, the original Hawk of Soy Battle where it was like NorCal SoCal and they were all yelling at each other and when Christian learned uh, 540s. Everybody that loved the soy was like just getting down on Tony for the whole, like booing him and all that stuff. And, you know, he pulled out the win, but you know, to me, it's like the most memorable contest. You know, when I first got into like skateboard competitions with Aspo or Castle, like the first year was Aspo and we went, got to go to all those parks, Big O and Marina and Whittier and Del Mar and Pipeline. And, you know, obviously Del Mar was my favorite because that's where we were from. Pipeline was always the biggest nightmare. Like we'd go there and we're just like, holy crap. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you go, you went there and you came out scarred, like, and, and you didn't feel like you, you beat it. You know what I mean? Like it was just like it beat you. The shape, like you looked at, it and it's, if you walked up to it, you're like, oh, this is gonna be so sick to ride. And then you started riding it, or seeing Mickey or Steve ride it, or Chris Miller, and you'd be like, oh, that's how it should be ridden. And we could never, we, very few people that didn't come from the Badlands could go there and actually rip that place. You know, like it was. It was murder. <laughs> and so it was funny when they rebuilt it, you know, like as the first skate park pool that kind of came back onto the scene, you know, that for vans, like when they did it, I was like, ooh. I mean, you know, it, 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 the nightmare came back, like I was twitching, like, ah, ugh. But again, they kind of mellowed it out. It was a little different. It was, it was easier to ride than that one, but it was still, you know, it still had that, like, this is, this is brutal. Now that they've redone it, it's like, now you can like kind of focus on your skating and like just the lines, which which I think was the original intent of the, sh the shape of the bowl. It's like to open up these lines that like and and going high and, and doing tricks back to back and like doing a lot of like amazing stuff. And you know, watching Bucky the other day skate it or Chris, yeah, I think it's happening.